is is anyone really shocked about this? How how can you be shocked? Uh, I've had a few friends um, and an ex girlfriend recently that are huge Demi Lovito fans, and they're all like, "Oh, she's been sober for so long, blah blah. She'll never go back, and all this other stuff. She's so inspiring." And I I did another video on her a long time ago when my channel was younger. Uh, it was last year. And, and I, I told all these friends and these strangers, too. I've talked to strangers online, a few when I was in college, and they're all like, you know, she's so inspiring, and, and my ex-girlfriend. Um, she's really not that inspiring. She's probably drinking and doing, doing heroin and all this other shit. Um, just not in the public eye like she used to. Uh, and all like a lot of her music videos clearly have alcohol being shot on or you know the champagne stuff being shot on or her mouth is open i know they do have video effects to add uh streams of particle effect streams of like drinks and stuff but it, it's real she's getting wet her hair's being padded down it, it, it's popping they're popping open the corks and stuff does that not count as drinking yes yes it does and this just in yesterday Demi Levito suffers drug overdose, awake and responsive. Why am I not shocked? Because I'm not blinded by celebrities. I don't look up to celebrities at all like a lot of people do. I look up to myself because I know I actually care about me. These celebrities don't give a fuck about you. So let's move on. Demi's rep tells TMZ, Demi is awake with her family who want to express thanks to every ton. Please get editors. For the love, prayers, and support. Some of the information being reported is incorrect, and they respectfully ask for privacy. Okay, some of it's incorrect. Demi's aunt, Carissa Dunn, posted on social media that Demi is awake and responsive. Paramedics have found that Demi's unconscious when they arrive at her home. Damn, she lived. That sucks. Demi Lovato, OD, not from heroin. Okay, that's interesting. We'll have to look at that. Law enforcement sources tell us Demi was treated with Narcan, an emergency treatment for narcotic overdoses at her home. We've confirmed that the OD occurred at her house in Hollywood Hills. Demi was out Monday night celebrating a friend's birthday. Why do you have to... Why do people have to go to clubs and and get drunk and do drugs and shit like that on some, someone's birthday? Why? Why? There's no need for it. There's no need for it. I've never touched alcohol. I'm over the age of 21. Uh, when I was in middle school, I had so many people ask me, you want to do pot? Come on, man. It'll make you calm. You want to you wanna smoke cigarettes? It'll calm you down. It'll calm your nerves. You want to you wanna drink some alcohol? I got alcohol. My brother, my sister, my friend, whatever cousin can get me alcohol. Never once did I say yes. I had no problem saying no because I am better than that. I am better than that. Uh, and we're just going to skip this because it's not accurate. It's not accurate at all. So... Here we go. What does TMZ now say? Because I'm not going to waste your time with that article if it's inaccurate. It's not OD on heroin, so says a source connected to the singer. TMZ broke the story. Law enforcement sources involved in the case told us it was an apparent heroin. heroin God damn, I can't speak. I might be overdosing on heroin. I can't speak. But the source close to Demi says no. The source would not reveal what drug caused her to OD, but as we reported, she was given Narcan, which is used to counter the effects of opioids, pills. Uh, Lovato had previously struggled with cocaine and Oxycontin addictions, but had been clean for six years. She recently confessed she fell off the wagon. Well, good for you. Why didn't you fucking die? You are nothing. Only idiots look up to you. Only idiots listen to you. And believe the bullshit that spews out of your mouth. She will tell people at her concerts... I love you. If you have no friends, I'm your friend. Oh, really? You love your fans? No. Now, let's say your fans didn't give you any money at all. Oh, I bet you would retract that. My stupid motherfucking fans. Here I am. I am I'm spending all this time in the studio writing this shitty music about getting fucked and partying and and, and, and believing in yourself. And they're not they're not buying my stuff. Fuck them. I don't like them anymore. And, and, and if, if you're their friend, why don't you talk to them? Oh, they get too many messages, blah, 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 blah. At least respond to some of the messages. And I'll, I'll give her credit. I've seen people uh, screenshot uh, conversations with her. Uh, not not edited either, from my knowledge. From what I can tell, I zoomed in on the image and stuff on Photoshop, and I didn't see any signs of editing. I'll give her credit like that. Yeah, she has a lot of fans. Um, 
a lot of the time celebrities just don't even respond to comments and DMs. You got celebrities that do. I I love uh, Laura Morano. She's from Austin and Alley. She has responded to my comments before, and she's had posts with eight thousand comments, and she she responded to mine and everyone's actually. Um, I've actually seen a post where she responded to everyone. Um, and she's genuinely nice. She will genuinely talk to her fans. Laura Marano will. Uh, Beth Littleford, she's not really that famous. She's famous for Comedy Central. She responds to her fans. She, her posts get like, you know, sometimes they get 20, sometimes they get 100, sometimes they get 300 comments. So it's a little bit easier for her. Um, but, and Karen Beth Zabe, she, her posts get like, Maybe five to six, sometimes 20 comments. She's from Fear of the Walking Dead. She's Helena, or Elena from Fear of the Walking Dead. Of course, she's really not not that that famous. But she still takes the time to like and comment uh, people's stuff. Of course, Demi Lovato's probably getting, not millions, she's probably getting thousands of comments. Um, but I don't see her really responding to any. Really, I don't. I, how can you claim to be someone's friend and then not talk to them? It's just, anyway, those are my thoughts on this. Thank you for watching.